Hello and a very warm welcome. And warm welcome to you also, Anand sir. And this is the beginning of a new series from our side. And this series is going to be on impact of climate change on Indian economy. So this is not a general broad coverage of climate change. Rather, in this series, we are going to get into the details of the impact of climate change on Indian economy and its different sectors. So to begin with, before we tell you what is the structure and what is the scope of this series, let me tell you why we have created this series and why do you need this kind of coverage. So first and foremost, climate change is one of the most important problems confronting the mankind. And this is amply clear from the amount of news coverage it gets across the world. And this is also very, very clear from the importance that various government policies in the last four or five years have accorded to this theme. This importance of climate change has not gone ignored by the UPSC. So in the prelim examination, in the main examination, as well as in the interview, questions related to climate change have only been increasing in their importance. Since 2011, let us talk about the uh, prelim first. In the prelim so when you talk about the, the prelim. IFS prelim was included. And since the theme of the IFS examination is about forests, wildlife, biological diversity, climate change, and other environmental issues, so it is only logical that at the very first level of a screening, the awareness about climate change is also assessed, among other topics of environmental ecology. So you very well know that at present, environmental ecology happens to be the second most important area in terms of question allocation, only after Indian economy. That has been the trend for last more than 10 years. When you talk about the main examination, in the main examination, in paper three of general studies, there is a clearly stated topic called environment and biological diversity. Questions on climate change have been most frequently repeated question under this heading. Further, a couple of questions on climate change have also found place in paper one under the section of geography. And then as reported by my students who face the interview, many of them are now selected also and serving in the government of India's different services. So they also say that we were asked this question or that question on climate change. And this was especially true for those candidates who came from any type of science background or engineering background. So the importance of this topic cannot be overstated. Now the question is that do we have good structured content detailing the impact of climate change on Indian economy? And that too at a time when the government itself admits that Indian economy is going to be impacted significantly by climate change effects. In my survey, I did not find any such coherent material which will be meeting the needs of the civil service aspirant. Hence, we decided to research and come up with this series. So in this series, Anand sir will be my collaborator. There are topics which I'm going to do. There are topics which Anand sir is an expert in and he will be doing. So uh, let me invite Anand sir to basically give us an overview of the topics the, uh, that we are going to cover in this series. Sure. Thank you, sir. And uh, hello uh, to all the students. Uh, please pardon my voice. I've got a bit of a cold, so please um, excuse that. So uh, we, like uh, Abhishek sir said, we've tried to organize this as a, a complete uh, compilation on, on the impact of climate change on the uh, Indian economy. And when we say complete, uh, complete uh, so we want to start right from the beginning. So basically, uh, to give you an overview of how we've thought of the structure, we've organized this into four broad themes. The first uh, one is the beginning, the very basics. So we've uh, talked about what are the different uh, phenomena, um, things like uh, greenhouse effect, global warming and climate change, often uh, misunderstood for uh, the uh, one of the three phenomenon. So uh, we've explained what it means uh, when we say the there is global warming going on and how it impacts climate change, how these three phenomenon interact. Uh, 
in the second one then uh, we've gone to the consequences of uh, climate change uh, so we've examined this from two lenses basically first at a global level what is uh, going uh, to be the impact what what all impacts we are already uh, witnessing and then uh, coming to our country how india is going to be impacted and then in the third theme we then go deeper into the impact on india and then we start talking about the impact on economy of the uh, country and there we take a sectoral uh, view so um, the most important sectors the uh, agriculture construction manufacturing and services so on all these sectors how um, we'll witness uh, the impact of global warming we are going to examine in this uh, third theme and in the last theme we are going to see what the government is doing to address or mitigate the impact of climate change and what other policy actions are being proposed or being considered so uh, very quickly in a nutshell that is the uh, overall structure of the course so now i'll pass it back to abhishek sir who will just tell you uh, which part is going to be covered by whom so thank you anand uh, for uh, giving a crisp summary of uh, the entire course so as you said that there are four themes that we are going to cover so the first two themes based on my experience as a teacher i will be very comfortable in and the first two themes that is the understanding of the phenomena itself the triple phenomena greenhouse effect global warming and climate change and its scientific basis and then its impact both at a global level and at the level of our country so these two themes i am going to cover and the remaining two themes as we have planned because you come from economy background so you will be most eminently suited to cover the remaining two themes as how different sectors of indian economy are going to be impacted by climate change effects how we are prepared and what are the different studies projecting the shift in those sectors and the policy initiatives that we have already taken and that we have announced to take in the years to come so the last two themes you are going to do so that is how we have divided and i would like to tell our audience that this kind of structured material has taken us a lot of time to research bring them together and process it to make it in alignment with the civil service examination so please make sure that you are watching all the parts of this series and i am very sure you will find it very valuable to all the three stages of this examination so on that note i think we can start with the very first thing of the coverage that is understanding the scientific fundamentals of these phenomena and what causes them 